<laughs> I am ready. <clears throat> okay, tunnel of bones. E schwab. <laughs> yes, I'm doing great today. I'm Anna, one of the two mythical unicorns. Welcome to our channel and to this video. It is great to have you here. Today I will be making a two minute review of Tunnel of Bones by B.E. Schwab. Tunnel of Bones takes place right after City of Ghosts. In City of Ghosts they are in Edinburgh and in Tunnel of Bones they go to Paris. They are still filming for Cass, the main character, her parents TV show about the paranormal and ghosts. <laughs> and well, there are many ghosts in Paris <laughs> and that is all I'm gonna say because it's it's still really short it's only like almost 300 pages it's only 287 pages it is very easy to read so I'm not gonna say any more about the plot because <laughs> I will probably spoil. <laughs> in this book we get to know Cass better. I felt that I got a better understanding of her and a better connection to her as a character. I also really enjoyed the development with Jacob and the friendship between the two of them. As I mentioned, the book is really easy to read. It doesn't take that long. It is perfect October read, autumn, Halloween feeling. And I guess that's what it's supposed to be since it's so short and it came out like in late September maybe, I think. So I really enjoyed this. Like in the first book we get a nice tour of the city that they are in and we get some history and some ghost stories. I also really like the cover of the book. It's really pretty and with the skulls all around, a bit eerie. And I would probably give this an 8 out of 10 because it's a really interesting story. It's ghostly, <laughs> lots of ghosts, uh, but not too scary and uh, really nice. I would recommend it to anyone who enjoys V.E. Schwab, who wants something nice and easy to read, who wants a ghost story but wants, still wants to sleep at night. <laughs> And that was it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Please support our channel by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye!